I'm a footballer and I'm gay. When Josh Cavallo released his coming out video on the 27th of October last year, it made worldwide news as he became the only current gay professional footballer in the world. The fact that has been reported around the world that one man playing football has come out as gay um, just sort of signifies how big uh, a step that is. The announcement comes at a time in which we are seeing an increase in homophobic discrimination from the stands. Sexual orientation discrimination was the second highest reported across the 2019-2020 season, up 91.2% from the season before. A report in July 2020 highlighted the Department for Digital Media, Culture and Sports intentions to add homophobic chanting to the Football Offences Act, quoting, We also wish to record our dismay at the slow progress in kicking out homophobia from football. Over a year and a half later, that has still not happened, raising questions as to whether everyone is doing enough. The FA, the Premier League, yes, they're doing things, certain things, but are they doing enough? No, I don't think so. But I think if people are found to be you know, guilty of homophobia and things like that, they need to go on educational courses. I don't necessarily think um, lifetime bans and things like that are the answer. Um, because that person's only going to go somewhere else and blame football. Do you feel it's possible that clubs such as London Titans could help create a more accepting culture in football that could maybe transcend its way up into a more professional game? Yeah, I think clubs like London Titans are where, where to start with that sort of thing because at the end of the day, we're the ones that feel it the most. We're the ones that experience it. Um, and therefore, we're the ones that have got the understanding and the knowledge to help others to make football more inclusive. Um, and I think it's really sad that when we get new people join the club, without a doubt, nine times out of ten, the first thing they say is, oh, I haven't played football for a very long time. And I think that's telling. That shows that there's a need for LGBTQ plus football. It's just, it's a really good club to be around. Um, it's more than just a football club. I'm in Stuart, overtime.